Yes guys, in today's tutorial I've got a simple but effective way on how to use film borders within Premiere Pro. So we're going to come over to Premiere Pro, we have some footage here of a music video I shot a while ago. We're going to come here and import some borders. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some screenshots of our footage do that by coming over to the export frame and then saving these wherever you want. Now we're going to come over to Photoshop so we're just going to click this one and as you can see I'm just going to paste it on this like so it's just a screenshot. We're going to copy them onto our layers, make them smaller and fit them in as best we can. Just frame them up, there we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to delete the background, use this polygon tool and then go around the box so and then just delete the background convert to a smart object get our next image and do the exact same again and then you can delete the background or mask it or whatever you want to do whichever way is easier get our last one and then we can group these all together and we can move them Whatever way you fancy, so maybe like up in the corner, might be quite cool like that actually. Now what we can do is come to our image, the camera filter, camera or filter sorry, and we can go to colour and we can just turn down this vibrance and increase the texture and clarity. Now come down to effect as well and then green, add a bit of green. Hold command C to copy and then go on to the other images, camera raw and then just paste it on. So you don't have to go through and match it up again. You can just copy the camera on. Now we're just gonna go to File, Export, and we're just gonna save it. Come over to Premiere, then we're gonna import what we just saved into Photoshop. So, and then we're gonna drag that on. Hold Option on your keyboard and drag it up. Come over to Effects, and then Transform. Hit Transform on this one, and on the other one. And then hit Effects Controls, come down, and then move the position and the rotation bit over the other side, bring it up a little bit, hold option again to drag it up, come down and we're just going to rescale and resize these, rotation on them, and we're just going to do that one more time, so we have four of them. So here we have all our images, now we're just going to go four frames across and make a cut like this, and we're going to delete all these ones, and what we can do is make it a bit quicker, a bit slow, So now it should be something like this, which looks cool. Come over to our project panel, create an adjustment layer, make sure we're dragging that onto our timeline, trim the adjustment layer down, and then we're going to come over to effects and we're just going to type in flash. If you have your own flashes and stuff, that's fine, you can use your own ones. These ones are on my website if you want to pick these ones up. I use these all the time. I'm just going to go with a like simple flash 3. I want to effects controls and hit these arrows, select all the keyframes and then drag them into the middle, like so. That's really cool. Now we're just going to go over to our images and hit the keyframe on position, scale and rotation at the start. Increase the scale a little bit and the rotation and this down a bit across like so. Select them all and then drag them to the end and then do exactly the same on the others. Turn up the start, keep them on position, scale, rotation, come to the end and then just play around with it whatever you think is best. Come to the end of that one exactly the same on this one, so do this for all four. So there we go guys, now we should have something like that. So now we've just grabbed another adjustment layer, we're going to come over to effects, and you can type in flash and we're going to use one of these multi flashes. So there we have like a flash. We're then going to grab another flash that we did here, so just hold option, and then where they all finish we're just going to match these up again. So we should have a transition that So guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys.